my name is Juan Pedro. I work as a, a DevOps of uh, a key automation performance group in my company. I have like a six year of experience in administrating in uh, si different operating system. Um, also have a little spring in networking um, and anything uh, everybody throw on my desk. Uh, I love monitoring things. I like anything that like we could monitor or any software used to monitoring the status or, or the health of servers. I can. I I like to try to to try any any software uh, related to this. Um, six months ago, uh, this world changed to me. Uh, that day, Manuel Villarejo came to me and said to me, "Hey, Juan Pedro, have you met OpenMS? Uh, let me trace you." And then. We started to I, I started to know how it works, open an MS, um, how difficult it is sometimes to configure it. Um, uh, but focusing how we use it in my group, in my department, I we only require the graphs or of the health uh, metrics of the server. So basically we're gonna do an introduction, the how we use open an MS in our company or in my department exactly and then we are going to explain the, the lot of process um, then we're going to I'm going to explain why, how we are trying to automate all the processes for lot testing uh, we created an application to help us to to do reports uh, when our lot is finished to retrieve all the images we need to uh, review if the uh, server is okay or have some failure or um, I'm gonna do a, a demo of this software um, to finish when uh, you could do any question or you. Um, we have uh, over a thousand servers in production and we have uh, an exact copy of this server in, in the lot test environment. So we have to monitorize a, a lot of a lot of nodes with OpenNMS and we have to create reports based on this and those nodes and this uh, is a mess when you are trying to to do a lot of tests of the whole environment. Uh, we do releases every two weeks so per every release a lot of tests uh, is a mandatory and um, we usually do an average of 10 lot of tests per week so we could not uh, spend so many time so, so much time uh, create generating the reports um, and and doing and and we should spend more time doing an analysing of that that uh, k matrix we we're turning uh, after the test <sighs> well the lot test process uh, three phases we prepare the lot test we launch the test and we report it uh, to prepare the test, we set uh, the initial configuration like uh, this is in production. We replicate the configuration in the test environment. Um, basically, we refresh uh, the information of databases um, and set the, the initial configuration to to prepare this, the environment to load test. Then we use uh, set 25 uh, load generators. Uh, many of them are Windows operating systems, so it's not easy to automatic uh, automate so sorry automate that uh, that part of the process. And then we use OpenMS to obtain uh, all the metrics we need to to for the reporting. And we also use a uh, weblot and Nolot to to generate reports of the the metrics like uh, the time of uh, Page the, 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 the time that takes the, the page to load or the server response time or something like that. Well, at the beginning we use to well, we try to to automate the, the process of load tests uh, to prepare the test is very complex because uh, they have they are s many of system and they are have uh, their own scripts to to initialize the 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 the, drug, the the system, but we are trying to orchestrate all of them using some kind of scheme of dependencies and and calling the scripts. 
uh, to launch the launch log test. Um, we now generate the log test profile templates. That means the 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 way how we create the load for every load test. Like uh, we went to to for example to to launch a lot with a ramp up of five minutes and then uh, keep the load at the highest load at I don't know f uh, a half thousand of clients uh, simultaneously and and then we are gonna now are gonna do a ramp down of about uh, five minutes. So that's a, a template of load test. Um, and then we're gonna report the lot test, take the results. We go, we we get, we got with a uh, web bot or nail bot. Um, then we got, we also get the res the images of and the graphs from OpenMS, and we put it together in a in a single report. And also we are trying to provide a single view uh, to check the status of all our nodes uh, during the the lot test. So this is all, all the requirements that my, my group has given to me. So I said, OK, challenge started. Well, at the beginning, uh, we did a report using uh, site catalyst and well the web law reports. That takes, I don't know, 10 or 10, 20 minutes. But we didn't have health health metrics of the servers. Then we started to use a spreadsheet to, to copy and paste all the graphs, <laughs> that's a process as manually, it's, it's awful, I recognize that, but we now we have OpenMS uh, uh, graphs. This is an example, this is uh, <laughs> the, the Excel with all the copy and paste uh, graphs on the, on, the, on the document. Then we, we discover cases reports. This, uh, this uh, let us to join different servers and select all all the graphs we we want to 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 include in the report, and we could save it as uh, HTML. But it still is uh, processed manually. We have many of many nodes of so, uh, one product, so we we have to to configure a cases report for for all those nodes. But Still, the report is no the report generated is not automatic. Uh, it's not possible to join several uh, cases reports in once. Um, the cases reports configuration is not easy. You you have to remember or you have to know the node ID of the of your server. You have to know the the, the name of the graph you want to include in the in the report. Um, and we lost resolution over the time. Uh, we don't want to keep all the uh, values of the or metrics during a year. We just know for a moment or for uh, last week. Just uh, so we basically we want to create a report based on the metrics we 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 did it in the last hours, not all the all the whole year. <coughs> well, in for reporting tool for sorry. For the, the reporting phase of the lot test, we create an application that provides us an automatic report generation. And it also supports uh, multiple environments, so it's uh, multiple OpenMS server instances. It's uh, very easy to configure a new uh, server report. A server report is similar to a KCG report. You choose the host you want to monitor and, and the graphs associated to, to, that, uh, to that report. Uh, the to the generate a report is very easy. It's a few clicks and a few uh, wait a few minutes. Um, I also provide a a live view. The live view is a uh, is like uh, the KCC report view, but you could uh, put several uh, cases report together uh, once uh, after all. Sorry, uh, all in the same view. <coughs> Well, this is the, the architecture of the the reporting tool. We have a, a Python uh, library that uh, it gets all the information from OpenMS using the REST uh, API. Uh, this was done by Jason Villaria. He, he came the last year to the, this conference. We also have a min cache 
to, to catch everything that uh, this model, this Python model, uh, retrieved from uh, OpenNMS. And also we have an, a Django application that provides a, a user interface and the automation of the, this report generation. So like, uh, something like that is the Django application, consult the main catch and, and have the, his own database. So when Django connect, uh, when you try to create a new report, Django will create a survey task that uh, basically is uh, connect to OpenMS and retrieve all the graph that it needs to, to create the report and the storage in a file system. It's very simple. Well, the Python Open uh, I'm going to talk a, a little about the, the Python OpenMS library. It's, uh, it provides uh, simple things like uh, the node label, the node DD, or categories of the, the node, uh, node resources like uh, GameX or SNMP. Uh, information about uh, graphs uh, by node level or by interface level and um, it provides also a little catch that for yes it's not it's going to use it right now but is it it basically everything that downloaded by the rest interface it, it downloaded into temporary folder so it don't don't have to request again that information to open NMS. This should be a, this is an example of how to how we retrieve a, a node by a level. We connect to the open server, and basically we call this function and we put the, the name of the of the host, and we got a instance of that host. Well, we could con we could check, the, for example, the label, the ID, or the the URL to that node in open um, We we also can get the the categories of that node. We could also get a node by an ID, so it's, it's the same as we, we get the information from by by level. We also have uh, the same the same info, uh, the D, the create chain, the, the claim creation, uh, 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 information about the description, location. We also can get the information about the the IP interfaces. Um, and also, it is uh, I think the the most important thing we 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 use is the the way we get the graphs of of this node. Is uh, we can get all the information of like uh, the resource ID or the report name. So we are getting uh, in, in this by this way we are getting uh, a exactly graph we we want to to include the report or or. Or just information about the, this graph. Sorry. Um, we also we get uh, the URL of the the graph using a Unix timestamp. We we set the the start date and the end date of in in a timestamp format, and we get the exact URL to to that graph. Well, we're gonna see the demo. Um, I think I'm here. This is basically the the main view. There is a, a, a status of the all the generated reports, um, a log <coughs> where this that he appears the the all the action performed by the application. We can review a report clicking on the ID. So we could see that we generated a report from. Uh, the 8th of April from 5.47, sorry, yeah, to 5, no, sorry, from April 4.47 to 5.47, just one hour of uh, period. So for the host out in dot internal dot open dot com, we, get, we got these graphs, TCP open connection, current connection, low leverage, we could configure it. Uh, we could add as many graphs as we want, or we could also add as, ho uh, as many hosts as we want to in this report. We're going to see later how to do it. Um, this is a we could we have also a, a, um, a view to, to check every several reports we, we, we have on depending on the system. 
So basically, as I explained before, it's a server like a KCC report. You have uh, different hosts and different graphs, all included in a, in a, in a, in a set. So we define the uh, auth report that includes these three graphs and this node. Uh, we also could, we could see the, the interface for creating new reports. It's very, very easy. Just click um, on the report we want to create. We, we write a name. We select a uh, channel. Uh, it's an internal use. We use it for putting a, a label to the report. Uh, we write a ticket if we are using a ticketing system. The we then we click on the start date. For example, we so the first of uh, this month and five o'clock and then date and then we click on generate. Um, we also have a view to to see the, the archives. So here we appear we appear at all the generated report uh, and the on the application. Um, and also, well. I, I, we're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the how we how we create a new configuration the, and the application, like uh, create a new server report, uh, add new host or or new ha or new graphs. So we're gonna enter to the admin uh, interface. So we now add a new host, like um, I have new one here. Mm. Cartman, yeah. <laughs> I'm using the 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 demo open image is publishing in in the internet. So we have several hosts uh, <coughs> like Cartman. We choose the environment, and then we click and save. Then we're gonna click when I add a new one like uh, Jimbo. Oops. And then we click on uh, the environment and we click and save. Now we're gonna add some graphs. Uh, I think, yeah. I'm gonna add the the disk use for root directory. Um, then we click on add graph. Here we set the the report name of uh, of the graph. Then the interface, if they have a interface, is a, a interface level graph. And then we write a, a name to just for the the level of the graphs, like a percent space use in the root editor, and then we click and save. Uh, we're gonna add a new one. I think it, it's not defined yet. The CPU is a test gig. Uh, write the the reference name and also an allowable. Okay. So this we are I am I am adding a new graph. This the CPU is a test and then we click and save. Um, and then we're going to create a new server report with uh, the, the last node I created. We call it a server, server report. We're going to choose any channel. And we're going to select some graphs. And then we're going to choose two nodes. <coughs> and click on save. Now we I come back to the interface and we're gonna create a new report. We should gonna select the a server report and then click on write an email like a test. Uh, test Choose uh, the start date, first 12 a.m. 
um, to 9 12 a.m. and click on generate. This is going to launch a task that is running in the background and it's going to start to download all the graph from the OpenNMS. It's going to retrieve the information from node, it's going to retrieve um, uh, all the all the information that need to to generate the report like um, the node ID or the or the graphs defined in the in this in this server report. So we w we wait until this is this is done. And meanwhile, I'm gonna show you another different uh, <coughs> option that let us, let us to create uh, periodic reports like uh, this. It's gonna is gonna be useful if you want to to get reports every every Monday uh, from for the the last week to see how is your uh, status of the, your servers during the last week for example so we're gonna choose the the reports we want to to create for example all of them uh, write a name weekend Where I want to start from OM 12 a.m. of Friday. Um, we gonna this this report we're gonna we gonna end in the eleven or well twelve o'clock on Sunday. When we wanna, we want to receive this this report. When we, with this report, we uh, we want to to be created. Pues we could schedule every day, or just once time, and the next Monday at I don't know if we are working uh, at from nine o'clock. But we want to it, it will be created in at nine o'clock. And then we create, we we do click and generate. So this this will generate a report every week. Uh, uh, it will it will be created on Monday, and it's gonna show you all the graphs from for the of the the last weekend. Um, we could review the the last created report we created before. Um, just click in the the ID of the report. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. You can see there are two two nodes with all the graphs we included in the in the server report, the CPU statistic, and the the percent the space of use in the in the, in the root directory. And also, is this is this this application has a, a feature that is very very important for my my team. Is they want to to get a single file with all the resources included in that, that single file. When you are saving the cases report, you uh, like a web page, it's gonna give you uh, the, the HTML file with all the images, but it's not included in a single file. But this application provides provide you the this same information, but all in a single file, and you could load it in a in your own ticket system or you could share it by email or you could send it by email. Now we we configure the application to send us an a message by the the IM of the company. So when the the report is, is done it's gonna send you hey a message in your in your in your in your screen and you say hey your report is done. You could download it from the URL. <coughs> um, and the last part I'm going to show you is the live view. The live view is, well, I don't know why it's, it's not seeing well, maybe it's a resolution. There's no problem. Well, the live view is the the way we gonna we use KCC Reaper at the beginning, but um, we wanted to put several of many of uh, KCC reports in a, s in a single view, just aggregating once uh, upon uh, once behind the, the the other the other KCC report. 
So we ha we define it to we have defined the two uh, several reports and um, to to make it appear in the in the screen just click on the just select the, the report and, and click on that and it's gonna start to load images from open NMS. You see it this is the, the first several reports. If you, we want to add the next, just click on the on the next report and and then click on that. And I'm gonna append on the on the top. If you don't want to to see it for a moment because you are interested in other graphs, you could hide it and this doesn't appear again. Or you could hide it all or show it again. Or force refresh you you are waiting now. I want to refresh now the the graphs. So click on refresh. I'm gonna do that again. If there is new information of the the graph, if you want to use it anymore, you can click on delete. Or it's another <coughs> sorry, another functionality that we have in this view is you could you also have the the. You could also show the last day or last six hours. You set the period of the last time you want to, to see of the graphs. For example, we want to see the last day of this server report. You can also download the images from the OpenNMS and you see we have all the graphs from the last day of those nodes. It also has a permalink. You want to share this view to uh, a college, or you could set it by or use it by as a bookmark. You can allow automatically the same view with the same configuration. You don't have to click on that, click on that, click on that, and create the again the, the view. <coughs> well, I think I don't didn't forget anything. Yeah. Well. <coughs> You well the improvements. Um, no, sorry. There we go. Oops. <laughs> and a mess. Sorry. Well, what's improvements we we got using this this tool? Well, basically, uh, when we started to use OpenNMS to monitor these uh, all the our nodes, it gave us uh <coughs> it gave us a um, a better performance of we we are doing with uh, load testing. We use usually the cases report to to see in all the k metrics of the servers mm, meanwhile we are launching the load test um, this is me <laughs> this is, is a part of my team they are k performance guys they are in charge of launching the load test and seeing of what's happening with the servers um, the thing we spent in generating the all the reports from the beginning was very very it's outstanding because it's we spent like a sin hours to to get all the all the graphs from open NMS because we are doing a process uh, the, this process manually <coughs> so using this application we we can reduce that that uh, time to like a few minutes because generate was generate a report is like a few minutes to 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 get it <coughs> so we could spend that time we 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 did this before to analyze all the problems we we detect in on that report on our systems. So the reporting time we reduce it from nine hours to three hours. So we could spend that time uh, doing better things than uh, watching or cutting and pasting images from Open NMS. Uh, we have two big events during the year. The first big event is in January. Uh, 
the first seven we we didn't have this application yet so we for this event we could launch it, uh, only thir 13 execution of the uh, of the lot test we we are lo doing lot testing of the whole environment at the same time the so we need all the graphs of all servers <coughs> then in august we started to use this application so we <coughs> we we could make the, uh, until 105 execution of the same lot test with the same servers so we 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 make it with um uh, we, we multiply by 3 the the number of executions of the, the same lot test so basically we reduce the time we need to to create the reports to to show us to the the stakeholders and to the project managers and we also we we got more time to analyze all the problems of the all the systems so in summary at the beginning we we use the server key matrix then we we started to use <coughs> the free sheet with uh, just one node of the key matrix it was a manual process and it consumed a lot of time then we started to use case reports we got all the metrics of all servers um, this saved us time, but it still, it still is manual. Um, and then we, we started to use the, the reporting tool with all the meet all the key metrics and save us a huge time, and it's automatic. So we can say we did it. Um, any question? Yeah, that's part of my duties. <laughs> the idea is we want to automate all the process from the beginning until the reporting phase. So uh, the beginning is uh, preparing the lot test environment is very difficult. We have scripts to do it, but it's, it could not do um, uh, automatically yet. But the, the process of the launch of the lot test <coughs> is is ongoing. I'm working on it. Uh, basically, we I'm trying to configure some libraries to control uh, all the behavior of the lot test uh, the lot generators and the consoles that use that lot generator to to, to uh, join load in the servers. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that part is is ongoing. So the idea is that uh, you execute a script or a process in the prepare lot test and automatically when it is down it's gonna start the l or gonna launch the lot test and then when this is finished it's gonna call to the reporting tool to create the, the report of all the systems that are involved in the in the lot test. Okay, so they're not directly connected yet? Not yet. But it is in the roadmap. I didn't show you, but I is, I is still working on an API for reporting tool, so you could create reports calling to the API, just saying the ideas of the re several reports and the the time frame. So, but it's, it's still working. That's one of the ideas I had to 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 finish to of the application. Uh, how complicated it is to set up this application? Have it out of the box or uh, you create it yourself? No, it's, uh, the application started by my Manuel Villarejo. I continued the, the development, but I set up is just need to uh, open a server. That's all. Because you, da you only have to configure some basic configuration like where is the open a server, uh, what graphs you want to, to include in the reports, and the nodes. It could be a a, a, bit a future for the future to synchronize the configuration of OpenNMS to this application. Like, hey, what? How many nodes that you have in OpenNMS? I have 11, 12, 1,000. Okay, synchronize it, and automatically you have the same configuration of the application, and you could uh, create the reports based on that information you retrieved from OpenNMS. It will be cool to include this application. Yeah. It could be a idea to to do it. So you still have to move a certain amount of manual uh, data over to the 
yeah, it's, this process is still manually, but I, I am still working on, on that, do it ma uh, automatically. Like, uh, you need to only the name of the, the servers, mm -hmm. and then put it in a field, and it automatically will create the the server reports, and you're gonna attach all the graph that is uh, uh, related to that node. But not always is int we are interested in all the all those graphs. We are interested in some I don't know uh, CPUs, memory, uh, disk, or JMX interfaces. So it's not so easy. Uh, it depends on the user we are using in the application. Uh, besides uh, generated uh, reports, can you so uh, the user can do some templates and uh, just apply it to some nodes? Mm -hmm. They could do everything. They could. Uh, we're gonna review the, the, the web interface, interface. and you see. Because, because I, I, I don't think it's, it's very clear my explanation about the way interface, so I like could repeat it. Sometimes it's confusing, I, I understand. Oh, okay. So, you have... You have... You have um, several reports that is, you just define the, the host and the graphs, and then you could make a set of many of them. Using um, oh sorry, using using report template. template. So a report template actually contains several reports. You, you could add and delete of from from them. It's, it's just, just a, um, um, it's just, just a, a simple functionality that provides just just when you click on the report template. template you select, select automatically the server variable. It's, it's not, mm, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a function that call to the, the, the field and include it on the, the, the report. That's so, that's so, so basic. Okay. Is there an option in reports to have alarms in there, or is that something going forward? So reports to the alarms or the bots reporting period? Or, uh, notifications? I don't understand, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Um, so the reports period, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you see alarms during that period, for example? No, no it's, it's not included. included. No, no. Is that because, because, because this application, application is focusing on log testing. No. It, it should, should be, because, because if you are log testing an assistant and you get an alarm, so, so it should so appear in the, the, the report. report. It's, it's compre comprehensible. But it's not a requirement of the, my, my boss, so... That's a, a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're actually connecting to the OpenOS database itself, right? No. no. The API REST. Okay, so API REST can query the alarms pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. Um, it shouldn't be hard to choose that actually. Yeah, the, the, the client should probably already. We have a client client that we yeah, yeah. reason. We have a separate application that does all the alarms. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah. But this is literally just for the, uh, uh, the world. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I had to talk to to my boss, so it, it could be contributed to the community, community like uh, but it first have to do an analysis to, to remove all sensitive data or something. Of but I, I don't think they have any related to our company directly in the code, so it's clean the code. So that's a good idea. Well, the, 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 the best thing is uh, I know the other application, so I am doing the roadmap, but you know how is the people. Hey, I think this idea is good to implement for the application, and you take it or no, this is the worst idea you did it. <laughs> you said it before. Oh, don't don't, don't pin it again, please.
but is I so I'm the owner of the application, so I am doing I'm defending the role of the application. I'm developing now. I spend hours or five hours per per week to do contacts in the application, but to do a new release, it could be I spend a month or a month and a half to 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 do the next release. So it's I'm not focused in entirely in this application. No. This this those time metrics. I don't know why. They have um, they define the what a lot test has include, and they define the CPUs, memory, and related uh, key metrics that for depends on the host. If you are monitoring a database, or key metrics specific to the database, or you are monitoring an application that is Java. Or that's the, the JMX interface, like a uh, heap, uh, class loading, um, uh, per gem, kind of. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.